Jace Mutoni Gishoi, a healthcare worker working at Dilidao Dispensary. Dilidao Dispensary is a level 3 health facility in Taita Tabita County, Tabita Sub-County, Matawan. The facility workload is 2,500. The maternity department in our facility was launched in November 2016 with low uptake of maternal services by the local community due to cultural beliefs and influence of traditional birth attendances. Due to this, safety of deliveries was not guaranteed, resulting to maternal mortality and neonatal death. In order to provide safe skilled delivery the facility started to provide 24 hours maternity services since may 2022 but still the facility could not reach its targets of 14 safe deliveries in a month the facility achievement of the number of safe deliveries per month was was on average of 28 percent the facility quality improvement team tasked the maternity work improvement team to implement a quality improvement project to improve number of safe deliveries from 28% to 100%. In the background, you can see the flip charts that we used during the process. So, a date was set, the WIT met and we started the discussions by planning. Method used and we also used PDSA as a model. So in planning, we in planning we involved the four steps of Kaizen, where we had the theme selection, situation analysis, root cause analysis, and identification of counter measures. The WIT members analyzed the maternity data sets and using decision and prioritization matrix. Here above, we identified low number of skilled deliveries as the priority area of improvement and thus became the Kaizen theme since it is it scored the highest among all the facility gaps subjected to decision matrix. You can see our des decision matrix over here. The members conducted weekly meetings where we reviewed baseline data and deliberated on the situation analysis through identifying co contributing factors that inform the development of a Pareto chart. Behind me, you can see our contributing factors we discussed that day, how we got the frequency, cumulative frequency, and how we calculated the cumulative frequency percentage to help us plot our Pareto chart. This is the Pareto chart that we discussed in December. This was followed with problem statement description and goal statement. The, con the contributing factors with the highest weight were subjected to root cause analysis using a fishbone diagram. Uh, within the implementation period of six months, the safe skill del deliveries improved from 28% to 178%, and the client exits, exit interviews conducted for mothers who had delivered in a health center indicated satisfaction for all the 10 clients interviewed. Five clients who delivered in this facility have successfully referred, referred additional five mothers from other sub-counties. The number of complications were reported zero. There were no complaints or complications reported. The second phase was the do, the D, whereby we developed a countermeasure implementation plan outlining the root cause where we identify the responsibility the responsible person timeline and strategies to implement each activity toward at addressing the root causes some of the key included like listing all mm -hmm. pre 
pregnant mothers that that four weeks and attaching them to their area CHV for close monitoring, ensure and ensuring they deliver in a health facility. Also, the facility secured mother baby pack by using the Linda Mama funds for insurance to mother who deliver services who delivered at the facility. Other interventions included awarding CHVs 300 for, for every successful referrals. This was a way of motivating the CHVs. Timely referrals were enhanced. Standby emergency ambulances were identified and their contact number well displayed at ANC and maternity and, and as well as is at the shopping center as you can see here these are the ambulance number we identified and the, this is an example of uh, of the number displayed at the maternity in our maternity room the facility utilized linda mama funds in pro procuring quality pharmaceuticals and pharmaceuticals like gloves spirits Cotton wool, which initially mothers were forced to buy. During deliveries, mothers were given quality care by ensuring their vitals were well taken and complete documentation of, of photographs. The project was successful and this can be attributed to maternity work improvement team strictly following the PDSA cycle and the commitment of the facility leadership and support to improve safe maternity services. Due to this achievement, among many others, the facility was, sele was selected for collaborative learning where all the facility in charges from neighboring facility came to learn on the use of PDSA to improve maternal services documentation and use of QI approach. We concluded that the use of CQA approach and more so use of PDSA cycle is critical to turn around a struggling indicator. That is a low performing indicator and quality of services or safe services by improved by improving skill, skilled deliveries. Safety of the mothers was guaranteed with evidence from the zero maternal complication, zero maternal death, and zero perinatal death. We recommend that health facilities to embrace use of PDSA cycle to improve both performances and quality of care, thus enhancing patient safety.